Hello everyone and welcome back to another haul video. Now this video is probably going to be no surprise to a lot of you if you watched my last H&M haul. I mentioned this would be coming and you guys were very excited as am I. I feel like Zara is such a great place to look for in like the transitional periods. I feel like they have some really, really great transitional pieces. And when I was scrolling on there the other day, there was so, so many gorgeous pieces that I just fell in love with. So I knew I just had to do another Zara haul for you guys and show you what I have been picking up now of course i am going to be doing this as a try on now i know a lot of you guys who watch these videos aren't always subscribed so you might not always know the ins and outs so if you are new around here for reference i'm five foot in height i'm a size 10 on top and i'm a size 12 on bottom i'll try and go through sizes with you as we try on the pieces but if i do forget anything everything will be linked down in the description box you can shop all the items from this video and you can see what sizes i picked up in each individual item but I feel like we should just jump straight in and I can show you what I have been picking up from Zara this transitional period. Now the first item that I showed you had to be the item that I did not stop going on about in my last H&M haul and it's this stunning stripey jumper. Now if you watched that haul you would have seen that I bought quite a similar stripey jumper and I was just a little bit unsure about it. I didn't know if I loved it and I wanted to wait till the Zara one arrived so that I could compare the two. Now if you have not been living under a rock you will have seen this jumper absolutely everywhere on Instagram and I have just fallen in love with it. So many guys have this jumper in their collection they're styling them up in so many different ways i never would have thought i'd be one for like the half zip but it was actually in my new winter wardrobe video where i got that revolve one and i fell in love with it i just really really liked the style it's something i would never have normally picked out but i wanted to try something new and I really really liked it I thought it was a really nice like quite a casual piece but can be styled up really really nicely so yeah I'm a big fan of like the half zip kind of fleecy style bit more casual kind of jumper but this is just absolutely gorgeous I picked this up in a small because it is quite oversized and I'm definitely glad I went for a small I think a medium would have just absolutely swamped me I probably could have even gone down to an extra small if I wanted this to be a bit more fitted but I do find with these jumpers it is really flattering when they're quite oversized you can tuck them in they're a little bit baggier and also they're much more comfortable so let's try this on I'll show you what it looks like and I'll give you my verdict as to whether I prefer this one or the H&M one Whenever there is something that you see online that everyone has in their wardrobe, there's usually a reason for it. And there is definitely a reason for this jumper. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I love it so, so much. It's really like soft, really comfortable. It's not too thick. So I think it's quite a nice transitional piece. You can put maybe like a vest top or like a thermal underneath if it's still really chilly now. And then when spring rolls around, you just wear it with like some jeans. And I think it's really, really cute. I just shoved it on with a pair of black jeans ahead of my wardrobe. I really, really like how that looks. You could also wear it with blue jeans and I've also seen some girls wearing it with leather trousers which I think looks so so cool. The sleeves, like, I was worried that they would annoy me but actually they're not too long so I don't find that they're going to annoy me and I think you could easily just like roll them up if you wanted to, get them out of your way a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I really really like this. I think this one's my favourite one compared to the H&M one. I think I'm just going to get a bit more wear out of this one. Um, but you know what? I want your opinion. I'm going to put the H&M one on. I know this is a bit unorthodox for a haul. But I'm going to put the H&M one on and I want your opinion. Do you prefer this one or do you prefer this one? I would love to know. Obviously, this one's a bit more like knitted. It's not got the zip. It's got tighter sleeves. A bit balloony, but like tighter on the cuffs. So let me know. Do you prefer the Zara one or do you prefer the H&M one? You guys are so good with this kind of stuff, so I really want to know in the comments which one do you think looks better. Now the next item to show you is something that you might be a little bit confused why I have picked this up now, because this is definitely not something that I would be wearing a lot now in lockdown. I mean, I know Valentine's has been gone, but maybe this could have been a cute date night outfit. But if you've been following me for a little while, you will know that one thing that I'm really, really striving towards is to have a bit more of a minimal wardrobe. I'm not going to call it a capsule wardrobe because I definitely don't think I could ever be the kind of person to own a fully capsule wardrobe. But one thing I do really, really want to do is just make my wardrobe work a little bit harder and the pieces in my wardrobe, I want them to be a bit more versatile, be able to wear them again and again and for them to last and like really stand the test of time. And I saw this blazer and this to me 
is such a multi-functional outfit this is the kind of thing i would happily wear again again and again especially when it comes to evening outfits i would much prefer have one item in my wardrobe that i know i can reach for for eight different kind of occasions i know i look good i'm happy re-wearing it it's a classic item it can be reworn time and time again and i feel confident and classy and like i can take on the world that's the kind of thing that i want my outfits to like make me feel and this blazer i feel like this is going to make me feel that way it is absolutely stunning so it's a blazer dress and i'm not sure i think it might be a play suit i think we have some short yeah we've got some shorts underneath this so it's like a blazer blazer jumpsuit kind of a vibe but it's just absolutely stunning this is the kind of thing you could wear for a dinner for drinks for date night for going out with the girls for an event for a pr occasion like there are so many different things that i could wear this to and i just know it's going to get a lot of wear in my wardrobe i think it's absolutely stunning now it's got this little cutout detail at the back and this is going to be the only like big question mark on this blazer because being a shorter girl sometimes cutout details can be a bit hit or miss obviously our torsos are a lot shorter than the average person so sometimes cutouts can like bunch a little so i'll be interested to see how this kind of sits but it's absolutely stunning i picked this up in a medium and i'm definitely glad i went for a medium because it's very fitted very tailored i think it looks so much more expensive than it is like if you told me this was a Balmain, you pick this up on net a porte i would believe you and it was only 80 pounds which obviously like isn't on the lower end of affordability but cost per wear like i am such a big fan of looking at the cost per wear and if i'm going to wear this time and time again i'm going to be able to reach for it time and time again i won't even have to like think about the outfit i can just grab this and know that i'll look good that to me is totally worth totally worth the money so really excited to try this on and show you guys what it looks like i think this is my new date night outfit oh my word i am so so in love with this i can't even tell you guys this is just absolutely stunning this is the kind of thing as i said i'm going to reach for time and time again you can easily style this up with like tights and boots in the winter and then in summer just put on some like little strappy heels and a little crossbody bag and this just makes the perfect like evening out nighttime outfit it's stunning now with regards to the cutout detail there isn't actually that like, i thought it would be but because of the flap there is actually no cutout detail which i think is quite nice because it means that you don't have to worry about like fake tanning your back or anything and yeah it's just really really flattering obviously it's shorts underneath so you're very secure like you can dance the night away you don't have to worry about flashing anyone and there is actually like a zip here so i do feel quite like held in and quite um comfortable like it's not tight but it just feels like being held in a little bit which is quite nice i love it so much the only thing i will say is the sleeves are a little bit tight but they're not uncomfortable like i can still move about obviously you've got the kind of like shoulder pad detail which i find very very flattering and yeah i cannot believe how stunning this is this looks so so expensive i am absolutely in love with it now the next item that I picked up is something that I could easily wear now and have in my wardrobe when lockdown lifts and life starts to return to normal a little bit and it's this absolutely stunning cardigan dress. Now I don't know what officially this was called on the website but I think the model was styling it up as a dress and I really really liked how she had styled it. I thought it just looked really really cool. It's got these stunning gold buttons going down which makes it look so much more expensive than it is and it's this really really gorgeous kind of like blue Play style material which i find looks really expensive i think it makes you look really really pulled together and like you put a lot more effort into your outfit when really it's just a one piece cardigan that you've thrown on but you still look pulled together i really really like this now i picked this up in a medium because i did want it to be a bit oversized i figured i could belt it if it doesn't work as a dress i could always wear it just as a cardigan with like some trousers or something like that but i just think it's really really cool i think it looks way more expensive than it is it's a very interesting kind of piece i've never seen anything like this and I feel like there's quite a few ways that you could style this up so I'm really excited to try this on and see what it looks like I'm hoping it's going to look as nice on as it does on the hanger I feel like we are on such a roll with this haul I feel like there are so so many gorgeous pieces in this this cardigan is absolutely stunning it's definitely like different I wouldn't say it's anything like I have in my wardrobe it's not like a usual jumper dress usual like cardigan dress it's very interesting but again very Balmain I feel like Zara are doing a really really good job of making the items look very expensive very designer-esque but still very very affordable so I do really really like it it's a nice length on me as well as you can see it comes up mid thigh which is quite nice if you're a bit taller it might be a little bit short on you to wear as a dress but on me 
it's okay. And now you could actually belt this as well if you wanted it to be a little bit more cinched in. Maybe make it a bit more evening. You could add like a black belt, some black accessories, some black heels. I think that would be really, really nice. And then just for the day, I'd wear it like this. Just like really loose and comfy. Shove my slippers on. If I'm leaving the house, I'll put on some boots. But yeah, I really, really like this. This is really cute. I think this is something that's going to be in my wardrobe for quite a while. The next thing that I wanted to show you isn't as much a fashion piece, but it's some really, really gorgeous jewellery. Now, I haven't bought a lot of jewellery from Zara. I've bought the odd, like, necklace. I feel like they do chain jewellery really, really well, and I've definitely been impressed with the things that I have bought. So when I saw these bracelets, I was like, okay, I need them in my life. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably would have seen on my stories. I recently unboxed some new jewellery from, I'm going to put this again, Yoj, Y-O-J. I'll link it down below, but I absolutely love their jewellery and I picked up this really, really gorgeous, very like yellow gold chain bracelet and I really liked how it looked, but I didn't think it would go as well with like my Pandora pieces. So I wanted to find something that I could layer up with it and kind of maybe tone down like the yellow gold a little bit, make it look really like layered and really classic and I saw these and thought these are absolutely perfect. Now I think we all know pearls are such a trend item at the moment. They're one of those items that's like, it's a classic item, but it does resurface quite a lot as a trend and it's definitely resurfacing at the moment as a big trend piece and i absolutely love them i think they look so so classy and even obviously if it's not a real pearl it can still look really really expensive and really pulled together an outfit so i love the little pearl detail on this second bracelet here this was really affordable it was only 15 pounds so obviously it's not like gold plates or anything it will tarnish if you wash your hands but if you're someone like me who you just wear jewelry during the day and then like you don't shower in it you don't bath in it it will be absolutely fine i think zara's costume jewelry is actually some of the best costume jewelry i've ever tried so i love these bracelets so so glad i picked them up i think they look absolutely gorgeous and then seeing as though we were trying things on i thought i would show you what the bracelets looked like on they are really really cute so the more like yellowy gold is the your george your i just can't um is that one and then the like kind of brassier gold is the zara ones and i really like how they look paired together i think it looks very very nice it's quite like rustic styled with something a bit new i think it looks really really sweet um but yeah i'm really happy with them very very affordable and i think they look really really cute and then the last item to show you is probably one of my favorite pieces from this haul now you probably know i have a bit of a thing for cute cardigans at the moment i just absolutely love how they look i love how you can style them up they just look so cute and so classy and they really pull together an outfit so when i saw this online i was like this this needs to be added to my wardrobe. It's the most stunning sky blue color. And if you know me, you'll know I'm not much of a color person, but blue and beige is one of my favorite color combos. I absolutely love it. So if I am gonna add a pop of color, blue is one that I'm definitely, definitely okay with. And I just love how it looks with a neutral wardrobe. I love these pearl details running down. As I said, pearls are so in right now. They are so, so classic and really tied together an outfit. And I love how many cardigans I've seen recently with the pearl detail. I think it looks absolutely adorable. Now I picked this up in a medium and I'm definitely glad I did because it is quite undersized. I do find with Zara's cardigans, they do come up a little bit undersized. So I would say, depending on the fit that you're looking for, depending on how loose you want it to be, how tight you want it to be, I would say stay true to size or size up in these just because I would hate for them to like be stretching here because it was too small for me. So I'm really excited to try this on. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. The colour is just so, so stunning. It's making me so, so excited for spring. <laughs> This cardigan is just the cutest thing in the world. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely think it looks like something that my grandma would have worn in like the 90s, but kind of love it for that. I think it's really, really cute. One thing I will say is, I don't know if you can see it, it's stretching a little bit around my bust, and I definitely don't have the biggest bust in the world. So I wonder if I'm better sizing up, then I don't know if it'll be nice and tight here. So it's just something to consider if you do have a bigger bust than me, you are probably gonna get quite a bit of gaping here. But I just love the pearl details going down. They are so, so cute. And I love the colour of it. I've just shoved it on with my black jeans now. But I think the way that I would wear it is with either like beige kind of chino styles. Or even white jeans would look so, so cute. But I love it. It's so soft. So comfy. I think this is quite a like wearable item. It's something you could easily style now. It's cute for like Zoom events or like anything online. And then obviously when things open back up again, you can style it up very very nicely post lockdown so yeah i really love this i think it's just so so cute 
Right guys, so those are all the pieces that I have been picking up from Zara. This transitional period, I'm just getting so, so excited for all the winter to spring transitional clothing that's coming my way. I cannot wait for the weather to be warm enough to be starting up a full spring outfit. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe because there's gonna be so much spring content coming your way, all the spring fashion and all the spring styling. I cannot wait for it but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video enjoyed seeing what i've been picking up and seeing what all the items look like on if you did enjoy this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up it really really helps me out to know the kinds of things that, that you like and as i said if you're not subscribed i'd love it if you hit that subscribe button come and join our little youtube community but i hope you guys have a lovely day and i'll see you in my next video bye